Welcome to onlineaccounting.lk for another fruitful session. So as you all know, onlineaccounting.lk, we are offering online lectures for professional accounting qualifications and we are offering classes for ACCA qualification as well. So with the request of most of our first level students, we thought of doing a session on how to register at ACCA as a student. So if you are a newcomer and just about to start your ACCA journey, this video is for you. So I am Ishan Pituelgoda, I am the F2 Management Accounting Lecturer at onlineaccounting.lk. So let's get started. This ACCA registration is a simple straightforward online registration process and before doing the registration you need to have these prerequisites ready. So let's look at what are the prerequisites that you need to ready. First thing, a proof of identification. You should have a copy of your identity card or a copy of your passport or a copy of your English translated birth certificate. The second thing, you should have a proof of minimum entry requirement and this is optional why I am saying this as optional. If you are directly going to register for the SECA qualification, you need to have a minimum entry requirement. But if there is a other way of registration as well without this minimum entry requirement. We'll discuss these things in a short while later. You need to have a credit or debit card which should have the facility to do international payments. And there are other options as well, Alipay and PayPal to do the payment. But for Sri Lankan students, this is the best option. So if you have these prerequisites ready, you can start the registration process. Now, directly go to the ACCA website and see how we can do the registration process. So I am now going to the ACCA global website and once you go to the ACCA go global website what you have to do is you need to scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see there is a link called ready to apply start your application today. Just click this link. Once you click this link you will direct to this screen and this screen include all the details that you need to add here when you are doing the online registration. So I am not going to read everything here, I keep it for you, for the time being I will click get started button. Once you click get started button you will direct to this screen and you can see the registration is a four step very straightforward process and there is online form that you need to fill. So let's fill this form. You need to fill the title, first name and email address also you need to fulfill and click next button. And then you can see you need to fill your, some other details as well related to your birth date like wise and gender, nationality then address information and your phone number. If you are currently working, you can mention your organization name as well and address, city, then state, province and these are optional. I am skip these things for the time being. You can fill these things as per your information and country region you need to provide a mobile number as well so you need to provide a mobile number as well here and you can click save and continue once you click save and continue you will direct to the next screen of the form now you can see there are option three options that you can select foundations in accountancy acc qualification diploma in international financial reporting so guys we are discussing mainly here foundations in accountancy and acc qualification to directly get registered for the acc qualification you need to have those minimum requirements here foundations in accountancy is the other pathway that you can directly get registered. To register under foundations in accountancy you need, you no need to have any minimum entry requirement. Just the proof of identification is enough for you to get registered under 
foundations in accountancy. So for Sri Lankan students who have registered with us also now, if you don't have your advanced level certificate as of now, you cannot directly get registered under this ACCA qualification because you are not still fulfilled the minimum entry requirements. But still if you need to get registered before arriving your GCE advanced level examination certificate, you can do the, you can select foundations in accountancy option here and which means you are getting registered for ACCA through foundations in accountancy program. And if you already have the minimum prerequisites ready with you, minimum entry requirements ready with you, you can directly get registered as ACCA qualification. So these are the three, these are the two options that you can get registered for the ACCA qualification. I hope that is clear. So for the time being, I select ACCA qualification here, qualification selected. Then I click save and continue. Now the next section I need to upload minimum entry requirements documents here. Why I, am, I need to upload these documents because I select ACCA qualification. If you select the FIA pathway, you no need to upload these documents there, right? Upload identification, you need to upload the proof of identification here for I'll select my proof of identification. I upload my passport certificate here. Then upload entry requirement. For the demonstration purposes, I upload my GC advanced level results sheet. If you are applying for exceptions as well at the time when you are registering, you can upload those documents also here. But for the time being, I will skip this. And once you upload these documents, you can just save and continue. If you are, if you selected the FIA pathway, you only need to upload the upload the uh, document related to your identification. No need to upload any documents related to the minimum entry requirements in that scenario. So now just click save and continue. Now, now you will direct to the next section of the form. You can see here. You selected the ACC qualification details are here. So if you get any registration code from your employer or from your tuition provider, learning provider, you can fill that code here. But if you didn't receive such a code, registration code, something, just ignore this. This is not mandatory. And as of now, for Sri Lankan students, the registration cost is 45 GBP is the registration fee. And you need to click these check boxes that you are saying that, that, that you are ad, agreeing to their terms and conditions and you, if you wish to get their promotional emails, you can click this check box as well. And final process, you need to go to the payment section, but in the payment section, you need to do the, the registration fee of GBP45. Here, there are three options, card payment, Alipay and PayPal. So if you click this card payment, just enter your card number, expiry number, CVV, name of the card and just click this pay 45 pounds button. So once you completed this process, once you completed this thing, within 24 hours of time, you will receive a confirmation from ACCA saying that you have successfully submitted your ACCA application for the registration and they are reviewing it. And after five working days, you will get the confirmation through another email from ACCA saying that now your account is activated and you can do exams uh, through your My ACCA account. Your My ACCA account is activated. So it, to get that confirmation, it will take at least five working days. I think uh, this is pretty much enough for you to do the ACCA registration here. So if you have still any gray areas related to the ACCA registration, please send those questions to us. So we are happy to answer those questions. So until we will come again from another fruitful session, have a pleasant day. Thank you very much.